Hello everybody, Steve here from Droid Master Tech Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LDG FTL meter for the Yaesu FT897 and the 857. Uh, this is a proprietary meter and can only be used with those two radios. They make two different versions. This is the four and a half inch version, the large meter, and they make a smaller one, two and a half inch. Uh, uh, it comes in a kind of a big box, real nice packaging. It has a uh, DC power connector that you can connect to 12 volts with a plug-in in the back. I'll show you where that goes in a minute. And also it comes with the, uh, I think that's a 1 8 inch jack, uh, standard, you know, little phono plug type uh, that fits on the radio and in the back. There's a little uh, connector underneath the front panel of the uh, radio, the 897 and the 857, you plug it in and then you plug it into the back. So here's, take a look at the front of the meter here, It'll give you a good idea of what you have. You have your SWR, you've got your power, you've got your modulation, your voltage, you got a discriminator, if you see that right there at the very bottom. Uh, you can adjust it, let me turn it around here, you can also zero the meter out with this little screw right there. I have the screws loose here so bear with me. On the back you have your connection for your radio. You can adjust your uh, deflection. You want to set that to right past 60 on there. It's a simple adjustment. You have a brightness adjustment and then you also have a power input here which I have a little plug that I made. Let me show you this little plug because I've modified this somewhat. And then you have a switch for your lighting. And of course you can adjust that via the brightness. Now I'm going to turn it back around and take off the cover and show you some of the stuff I did. You can connect this to any 12 volt, any 9 volt to 12 volt source and it lights up the meter pretty good and then you can adjust the brightness. Uh, menu items I believe 62 and 63 on the radios can set this up to where you can have it read power, SWR modulation or whatever on transmit and receive. It does different things depending on what you have uh, those meter uh, menus set up at. Uh, so it's strictly you know made for this meter. Very nice meter. Anyway, let me pull the top off and we'll set this aside and we'll get in here and get you a closer look at what's going on. Now if you look, I've got a battery inside of here. This is a Futaba battery out of a radio control transmitter. It's 9.6 volts. And I've got it soldered to a couple connections here where I can charge it uh, via the output jack in the back. And I can disconnect it if I want to. Uh, i got a small uh, SNMA connector on there. If I want to go ahead and do that, you can disconnect the meter as you can see uh, via this wire right here. You can adjust the tension on the meter itself here is how far it faces forward, how much pressure you're putting forward. And uh, let me show you what the lights look like. Those are the LEDs. They do have both blue and white. Uh, there are six banks. There's uh, six sets of two, both blue and white, and it gives it a nice bluish white glow. Very nice, and again, you can adjust the brightness on it. Uh, I can, you know, go ahead and disconnect this and plug in a power source, which I have set up right over here, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, you simply just plug it in right here. Uh, with the uh, meter off, uh, it'll charge it with it on, but not very well. Just turn the meter off, and then you can go ahead and uh, charge it all up. It works real well. It's 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 pretty accurate, definitely. I think I'm going to get the smaller one too. Uh, this is more for a base type rig. I want to show you another mod I did here also. Uh, as you can see, this 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 pushes back and forth here. When you go to push the uh, uh, the little jack in here for the you know when you when you plug it in it moves this back and forth so what I did is I epoxied a couple pieces of hard wood uh, onto the back here just enough to where when I put this together let me put this together real quick and show you and when I got it screwed on this doesn't move at all now when you go ahead and uh, 
and push on it once you have these uh, screws in here. It will not move and push in. It's, it's kind of a, a little bit of a bad design, but when you push that plug in and pull it out, it does move. Uh, quite a bit. I'm going to turn the lights off here and show you what this looks like lit up. This is uh, on low, but it, it's it's pretty bright, definitely. As you can see, it uh, it lights up the whole room. <laughs> and uh, it does a good job. It definitely is, does a good job of uh, of reading accurately. If you want an analog meter, that's uh, the way I would go. And, you know, instead of an SWR meter, it's definitely proprietary, like I said, for the radio, but it uh, is definitely uh, accurate and it works real well. They make two different sizes again. This is the larger size. I'm going to put my hand in front of it again and show you. And uh, they do make a smaller size. You can put a battery in there. Uh, let me show you that one more time. I did seal that with some heat shrink, battery pack heat shrink, a couple of times. Uh, it's a nickel cadmium battery because they're a lot more forgiving than, uh, uh, let's say, lithium or whatever. You don't want to put a lithium in there. You'd have to have a special charger sticking out the back and everything else with a uh, balancer and all that. Better to use one of these. If it dies, it'll still recharge. And that's a pretty fresh pack. I've had it going at full charge for 24 hours and it still has a charge in it so uh, that's plenty enough and then again you can also uh, you know plug a power source into it but you would have to disconnect this if you did that you definitely don't want to have 12 volts connected right to the battery so there you go uh, that is the LDG FTL meter the large FTL for large I guess that stands for uh, meter and uh, I can highly recommend it. It's by LDG. They make other supplies uh, tuners and uh, some other meters and stuff. A couple antennas. Uh, they're a pretty good company. So hope you enjoyed this one and uh, look for my next uh, review on whatever it will be. We'll talk to you later.